If you had the option to choose how you'll die, except for dying a peaceful death, what would that look like? This is Peter Gracie, poet and author, in collaboration with Jamaicans.com, bringing this piece called Options. If you had the option to die and be re-embodied just once before your final death, if you knew your destination before you reincarnate, just once before your final breath, what would be your objectives or your newfound chief aim? Would you assist the next man or realize a new ground for fame? If you had the option to do one thing before you die without jeopardizing your soul, if you could only choose one person to aid, to push and meet some sort of goal. What would you do and how would you choose? Would you omit a dying child, hurry to correct your own self and find some thoughtless excuse? If you had the option in the future, you have one thing to predict. If you could see a world of harmony and agreement or a world with controls and conflicts, what would you warn us about? And how would it be communicated? Would you care about your own life at stake and the majority be negated? If you had the option to choose how you will die except for dying a peaceful death. If you had the option to erase one thing from your life before you died, one thing you did regret. What type of death would you elect? And what would you clear from the slate? Would you live your life in desolation or would you die with faith? If you had the option to love your neighbor as yourself and see a different face when you look in the mirror. If you could picture all humanity as living beings without any thoughts of color. What would you feel then and do you think this could be attained? Until the color of your eyes are of no more significance than the color of my skin. Do you think love can be sustained?